My name is Mike Asaoka. Yeah, uh, I used to owner of the uh, Hida Takayama Ramen. Now still, I'm part of the uh, helping them and making noodle and also some advice for the making soup and uh, also making chashu. Okay, I was born in 1945, just after the war. So uh, that time, it's uh, in Japan, it's not enough food, and also uh, and the society is really really hard time. So that time, it's uh, some of the uh, Taiwanese people are moving into the, my hometown. Then they start to the, open the ramen shop. At that time, it's, it's, uh, I was born uh, meat shop. So then uh, we dealing with them and uh, we delivered in a chicken bone. So then, and uh, when opening, and uh, he invited me to eat the ramen. That time I was surprised. In uh, all over the world, that kind of food in the world, you know, I was surprised. So that's the, my first dream when I grown up. So maybe I want to make it in a ramen shop. So then in, uh, <clears throat> I start the, uh, <coughs> Uh, meat shop in uh, Canada. Then uh, I was uh, 65 and retired. My business take over the, my son. So then uh, I don't want to sit in just in the home. So that's why I start the ramen shop in the downtown. So uh, <clears throat> it's, it's, you know, that location, it's a little bit, it's uh, <clears throat> difficult to find out, but it's a, uh, <clears throat> In the basement area, they have a free parking lot, two hours free parking lot. And also, uh, a lot of people coming to using a washroom <laughs> there. I don't know why. So then, it's a little by little, it's my ramen has become more popular. And one day, is a Vancouver magazine and uh, report us to the uh, good ramen is there. Then start to the, uh, become famous. And uh, also uh, some of the uh, <coughs> and, uh, banana people, and uh, they report us and the comp competition to the uh, <coughs> six or seven ramen shop around there. So then select us at the number one ramen in the town. That time it's people uh, line up at the second floor almost in the stairs. So, so then <coughs> it's become more famous and then uh, I feel more confidence to the making uh, <coughs> ramen. And then also I've arranged to the many variety of the uh, ramen. So then uh, people and, uh, ask me to take over the, my business. So that's right now. It's, it's uh, already one year uh, that they take over and they work very hard and they study and very hard. So I'm very happy to and, uh, support them and uh, also uh, they're keeping up in uh, you know, their own style and then additional uh, some food. Okay? So I'm very, very happy to support them. <coughs> it's quality of the uh, noodle. Okay, <coughs> this is, I don't want to say <laughs> the too much, but some, one of the very, very famous Japanese noodle company they have uh, two meal in uh, Canada. So, <coughs> and uh, they making a, a Japanese ramen noodle flour in Canada, they export to the Japan. I find out and uh, I connect them and contact them and uh, <coughs> ask them to the, uh, you know, sell that kind of special flour. So that flour I'm using, it's the best quality Okay, no one, I believe it's not many people using uh, that kind of flowers. Okay, that's only, I believe only one I'm using for the uh, ramen noodle special flowers. And uh, special ramen noodle, it's a uh, stickness, uh, like a firmness, it's different. Noodle, it's very, very strong firmness. Stretching, right? You know, it's very, very firmness. So, and also flavor, it's totally different. Yeah, flavor is really, really good. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't know. And uh, owner has become happy or not for the uh, open the secret. Uh, that in the beginning, and uh, we are very old ages. And the Japanese ramen, it's a traditional Japanese ramen, is a shoyu ramen, and uh, with the chicken bone. But that kind of ramen, it's a, see, it's the age of the senior people, it's like a happy. But the young generation, it's more oily ramen, it's their likes it. So that's why I make it in a little oily ramen, and then also a chicken soup, and then a very oily, like a fat ramen, and the soup mixed it together. And the two different kind of the soup that they mix together, that makes more good flavor. That's in the uh, you know, beginning with. And uh, Hida Takayama ramen have become popular in Vancouver. Okay? And uh, I don't want to uh, tell you and, uh, what kind of material in there. <laughs> That's a uh, you know, business secret, so <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> I have a really, really strong com uh, confidence right now. And uh, only one kind of the ramen in the town. It's, uh, we are not using uh, <clears throat> pork bone and uh, <clears throat> different kind of the uh, material I'm using. So special flavor, if you like, find out a uh, special flavor of the ramen. Okay, please visit uh, Hida Takayama Ramen and uh, <clears throat> at the uh, Robson Public Market, the second floor. Okay, and uh, you'll be happy, I'm guaranteed.